We're back for another episode of Stressed and Overwhelmed by Her Closet. In the previous episodes of this series, we were working in her old apartment, helping her prep for her move. We did a first pass at decluttering, and now she has finally moved into her new space. And as you can tell, the movers just kind of threw everything everywhere. So right now, this space is extremely chaotic. And because of that chaos, Eunice was extremely stressed by the closet. I told her to just take a break and I will do my organizing thing. So today it's just going to be a solo episode with me as we start chipping away at getting this new closet organized for her. I've got a lot of space making to do in a short amount of time, but I think the results are going to be very satisfying. The first thing I'm going to do is just make space on the floor because it annoys me whenever I have to step over stuff. It's, it's even hard to like put a tripod down somewhere because there's just these piles in the middle of the floor. If you're feeling really stressed in a space, the quicker that you can see the floor, the better you're going to feel. Like find the floor and you will find peace. <laughs> but seriously, it does work. I'm just gonna throw it back there for now. Look at this path. Now we can like walk. No problem. We have a clear path done. Next up, I'm gonna get out all of the stuff that isn't meant to be in the closet. Like this. This is going to go in the skincare zone. This, full of skincare. Uh, it's also going to go in the skincare room. I actually, I went in there and I will show you guys in another video. And I looked and I was like, where's all of that shit that was in here? Like, why does it look so beautiful right now? Like, where's the rest of it? Um, and she was like, I think it might be in the closet. So um, I'm going to grab things and go put them where I think they're supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Because do you guys remember the cart? I was like, where is all of the stuff on the cart? It was completely empty. No. <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> We're going to get all of this stuff out of the way. Ah. Here it all is. Okay. Let's just make this easier on ourselves so we don't have to walk back and forth. I love a good cart. Yeah. I can tell this is, I can tell this is where a lot of the stuff went. All right, so rather than spend time going through it right now, whenever, you know, I wanna focus on the closet, just like we did in the other room, I'm gonna separate the two. So we'll come back to this stuff whenever we get to the skincare room, but today we're just gonna focus on the closet clothes. What in the... Yeah, that is more like the skincare cart, I remember. We are making progress. Now I have space, we can walk through. I can put my camera there. I have another space in mind to store things like this electric blanket behind me. This I'm gonna put in the other room for now. Bags we'll put in here. Travel bags I'm thinking we'll also keep in here. These things, uh, these things we will also move. Jack, oh. I think this was stuff she was supposed to take to the beauty salon. <clears throat> yes. All right, I think travel bags will be best in here. So, um, and we can put those up high. So I'm gonna leave those here. What is this? Ah, uh, more clothes. A lot of modern high rise apartments these days, they're really doing pretty good with the built-ins that they're supplying. This is pretty cool. That one wall back there has these uh, I don't know what you call that. It's not a pegboard pegboard style where you can kind of adjust things to fit your needs. So this would be really great for, for hanging clothes. There's a basket. So here's one for hats. This is the second one I found for hats. And here is another little peg guy. So I'll probably just leave these in here and we'll come back to them later. But these are really cool. Oh. Ah the rest of the skincare room. I wondered where all that stuff went. All right, I'm gonna transfer this very carefully because I don't want it to uh, fall out. So here we go. It already looks so much better. So we have this space here. This is cleared out. This is clothes we haven't gone through since the first time I helped in our house. And then we have more winter stuff and bad. Let me run over what I'm thinking we're gonna do next with you guys. I'm thinking for now what would make sense is if I move all of the winter stuff to this back section of the closet. This is where the muscles really start to 
go. This is so cute. Things that are a little bit lighter that could be, that aren't necessarily heavy winter that you might be able to wear in spring. I'm gonna go ahead and make my own, like make their own little section. Extra hangers, take them out too. Okay. Everybody always comments whenever these are left um, like this and uh, they always talk about how it's actually worse for them, like your clothes need to breathe. I agree and um, I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. You know, she gave me absolutely no direction with the closet so I'm just gonna do it my way. For the sake of my brain, I'm gonna put the thickest, like puffiest things all the way against the wall so that you just, they kind of get lost back there. Like this one. Okay. I'm also gonna make sure everything is zipped up. <laughs> getting sweaty. I also spied this coat here. This coat. Okay, because there's um, all of the clothes are just kind of everywhere, um, let me just explain it to you and I'm going to go do my things just so that I can work faster and get this done. Um, I'm going to work on trying to roughly categorize the clothes as I see them so that they work with the configuration of the closet just because it's already set and it looks like you can move the shelves on these closets but I've actually had these myself and I know for a fact that you can't move them they're actually set we're just gonna make what we have work What's also really great about switching out your hanger, so this is the standard one that you would get, you know, back from the dry cleaner, or just the standard wire one. Here we go. Like, this is the standard hanger. If you like all of your clothes to face the same direction, like jackets or something, especially if I'm going to store them away, I want the front to be facing the same direction just because it looks really nice, you know? For these, you have to take the whole coat or jacket, whatever, off the hanger and reverse it, but if you're working with... These, these are my favorite velvet hangers. I'm a huge fan of velvet hangers. I don't think they break very often if you respect your hangers. People either love or hate them. I love them. But I think they're also great for space saving. But with these, you can just rotate the top part around. So it's like, it's just awesome because it's a lot of work to take the hangers off and reverse everything.
I'm moving things where I think they should go, but because she has so many things that have been like this in the other closet, because it was so much smaller, I don't actually know how much space she needs for certain categories. So I might end up moving things from one space to another multiple times. That's okay. We're just trying to get it to work. There's this idea that I think it has to be perfect the first time you do it. And if you guys have watched any of my videos before, you know I'm really big on this. That it's not perfect. Like maybe it looks like on camera the way people edit it that they get it right the first time. But in real life, that's just not how it happens. In real life, it takes problem solving and moving things around trying different things until you get it right right now i'm playing around with the idea of putting we talked about this in the other closet video that we put all of her pens on hangers like this because she is such a visual person like if it's out of sight it's out of mind for her and i think if these are hiding in drawers i know if they're hiding in drawers she's not going to get to them. Dresses and long coats are taking up the only other long space that we have. The next one available is right next to you guys. So I'm trying to put like longer pants here, but I don't even know at this point where the rest of her pants are. So um, I think this is gonna work, but I'm not sure. That's what I'm trying to say. This like, like we gotta come up with a better. So, so I'm pulling out all the like sweater things, trying to I'd find them in here right now. And I'm putting them in the back right now. One thing um, I also want to mention, a lot of people were annoyed that she wasn't getting rid of more clothes last time in the declutter, but whenever your categories are so spread apart, it's really hard to know how many things you have. So what I told Eunice is that I'm fine going through and organizing everything for her. Then after all the categories are together and she sees it, she can say, oh, yeah, I have way too many black blazers. Or even if she doesn't declutter those because she thinks she's gonna use them later, it also helps signal in her brain next time she's out shopping. Like, oh, okay, actually I have five black blazers. I know exactly where they are at home. I do not need this one that is in my hand. You know, I put it back. So that is something that I really like about organizing, but it takes time to get to that process. So that's why I just say trust the process. Everybody has their own timeline that they do this in, so just, be patient with yourself and with your friends and family and with the people that you're watching on YouTube. Here is all of our dresses. I think the next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of the pants and move them to the front. definitely when your back starts to hurt that's why I don't ever think you should do a closet all in one day oh it really can really hurt okay oh, gosh, okay if it looks like on camera I'm jumping around from different categories to, it's because I can also get overwhelmed and sometimes you just jump around a little bit okay we can do it, we can do it. come on I think what I need to do next is move this golf stuff, work stuff, golf, and empty box, empty box. I am going to designate this zone for golf. Golf and like sports. That's so cute. T-shirts, that's a dress. Oh, I'm getting dizzy going around in a circle. Is this a dress? Oh, so 
Gucci. This might be good for skirts. Okay, that works for now. Wait, I have more skirts. Where did they go? While we are making progress, let me remind you of these. I'm thinking that this pile behind me will go much faster if all of this is organized because we'll know exactly where to put it. So that's why I haven't started back there yet. I'm gonna switch these around. So now we can think of like the jackets as a continuation. That'll work. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have worked out today. Actually, maybe the skirts can go with the pants. Should we put the pants up there? I don't know. For now, we'll just leave the skirts here. I'm gonna hang up this knee. Gosh, I would also recommend considering knee pads before you do this. Okay, so all of these puffers are taking up so much space here. So I'd rather move these to the very back. But that frees up some space here. So now we can put, I think, extra sweatshirts here. Shirt. Okay, I thought this section would be really good for golf, but there's, from what I can tell, there's not a ton of golf stuff and she has more sweaters. I might try and just like make this section like sweaters and things that are like all the kind of the same season over here. I'm just gonna tuck golf at the end. A lot more sweaters. Oh, the sweaters are the most annoying part because she has like 15 sweaters on one hanger. Eunice, after this, you better only put one clothing item her hanger. I know you're struggling with space before, but if you're watching this, I will not do any routine maintenance for you if you continue to triple stack, quadruple stack, double stack your clothes. That is a threat. <laughs> like this. What are all these things? I have no idea. Eunice. Got one of these. Oh, maybe we could also use the end of this to fold over um like any kind of winter pants because she does have a bunch over there or like loungewear that could be mixed in on this side too i, I like it i like it I'm go. join me in ripping off the last of the plastic I'm like, okay yeah she has a lot of these pants i want to keep them together okay think... all right so most of the time these hangers work I think I'm too irritated with all of the stacks today. I like doing this. I like making progress, but these are really making me a little stressed because I'm like, oh my God, I have to figure out where these go. Like, I'm really resistant to doing these and it's zapping the fun away from all of this. So what I'm gonna do instead of getting to them right now is just put them to the side because for me, it's more important to keep the momentum going, keep my speed going than it is to get hung up on something like this that could end up taking me like over an hour to figure out. And then I'm just like wasted time. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just tired of doing this for the day. Like this is zapping our energy. Like keep doing the things that are bringing you energy and making you excited to finish this project. So put them to the side like this. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then we have like more hangers. These are pajamas, sweater, sweater, skirt. Shirt, shirt, what do you do with rompers? It's not quite a dress. Also not quite a skirt, it's not quite a shirt. It's the high stuff, like that motion that really kills your back, so be careful. For shirts, I'm thinking a rough organization of long sleeve and short sleeve, and then I have super casual, like t-shirts and stuff down here. Also, by the way, this suitcase designer shirt, I tried out all the different material and I, settled on the one that was the absolute i'm sorry i'm doing that it just is so soft i settled on the one that is the absolute softest because you know you just got to be comfortable while you're decluttering you got to wear black because this is a dirty job and also i sleep in this shirt all the time because it's so comfy what size is this one this one's a medium if you want it to be loose definitely size up a few sizes are these all long sleeve yeah oh okay let's pull out all of the um lounge like wintry lounge clothes to put where you guys are right now that'll fill in the empty space there and that should complete our like autumn winter seasonal stuff over here oh that's a dress these in the summer no way more okay i think that i think that works you know okay so there's some good news and some bad news the good news is that 
I think I have all of the categories set. I'm changing things up a little bit, but you know, you just got to go with the flow of things. Let me show you the good news first, then I'll jump into the bad news. Let me show you the categories. This whole section is empty. This is where we had all of the um, plants hanging. So I changed that. Um, I'm not quite sure yet about what we're going to need this space for, but I'm leaving it open right now. I might even just put like golf stuff there. So here is the golf section. Yeah, actually that'll probably be better. We have golf there. Then we have like casual t-shirts. We go down into tank tops, short sleeves, and then long sleeves. And then we have all of the dresses that are way too packed right there. I'm gonna figure out that later. And then I have all of the skirts down here. I think this looks so good. Um, I think this will be just a little glimpse of like, look how beautiful this can be if you maintain it. Cause it's just so cute like that. And then I end up moving all of her pants down here. And I'm thinking in Derek's closet, if you guys remember, we did a bunch of hangers like this. And I'm thinking that might be the best for her too. Cause it's so easy to slide them on and off. And I think it would be really nice because these are black if we continued black and you can do them whichever direction you want, I guess. Kind of sit around the same height as these as well. And I think that just might be easier for the pants rather than these hangers. This is all of the stuff I don't want to deal with today. All of those shirts. And then over here, these are all of the jackets so far and uh, blazers too. And then we have like, uh, you know, warmer weather, colder weather lounge. We have a lot of like leather pants, thick pants you wouldn't wear right now. And then this is all sweaters and we do have some hoodies uh, mixed in here as well. So I'm feeling really good about that. And this is the giant mess I have created so far. But the bad news, we're out of hangers right now and I still have all of that. Remember those two white dressers and we said those are broken and they act, they don't want to bring them to the new house anyway because this closet comes with two sets of built-in dressers here. I'm really hoping that a lot of the stuff that's on the floor there is meant to be folded into these drawers but we're just out of hangers. They also have um, shelves a low shelf here and here that we could use too for stuff. Now that I have the zones kind of set, I'm going to try and go through this pile and put things in their zone. Even if they're sitting low right now, we will order hangers before we come back. I'm really excited to use those hat racks that we found. Autumn hats and stuff over here. Summer hats down here. Leather hats. Look who I found. Hopefully our hat model will retire after this. Thank you for your service. Shirt, gonna go down here. These are Derek's sweater. Sweater on a hanger. Sweater pile of stuff. I think this is a robe. Oh, it stresses me out. I know why she's stressed out. Oh God. Okay, it's opening. Oh. We focus on one step at a time. I'm getting overwhelmed because there's just bags of all that stuff that I've already organized. It's okay. Focus on clothes right now. That's the only step for today. Get to the other stuff later. I knew we had more sweatshirts. I have no idea what this is. I see a blanket in here, but I also see a sweater. So I'm gonna try and unpack it. Blankets are gonna go out on ah, bedding.
now that I'm like in here, I can see how much stuff is in here. I think it's actually going to take three real days to do this. What I'll do for tonight to help lower her stress in the meantime, just get everything to a good stopping point. Like she'll be able to look around and say, oh, okay. Like there's some sense of calm in here. It's organized chaos a little bit. What I'm thinking I want to do just really quickly before I muster energy to go to that last pile, things are kind of getting congested down here, which is fine. So what I want to try to do now is try and figure out this wall. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how everything's going to configure together. I want to play around with this wall a little bit and see how this should be organized because that's going to kind of dictate how I organize this area over here. I think mean, this might need to be the just accessories wall in general. That's true. I think we would want to put like both hats up here. So let's Maybe these hats, especially this one, maybe we put it up high. But then we also have these hats. Could just set the hat visors. Ooh, interesting material. That's, that doesn't look good. this one like that. I give up, I give up. I'm with the last mountain of stuff. I put away the more personal things like underwears and bras, so I'm here and I'm here for now. Now I'm pretty sure this is mostly her loungewear and workout stuff, which means we have one, two, three, four. As I'm going through this, I'm gonna throw her workout stuff just over there. If it's like wintry stuff, I'm gonna put it back where you guys are. You notice I can't wait for my facial. I'm getting all the works. All of the works, baby. we did it. I'm not going for pretty. I'm going for done. So this is going to be tops. Oh, these are really narrow. Okay. Ah, these drawers are narrower. So it probably makes more sense to put like underwear and socks, things like that in here. So I'm going to switch it over, but I won't show you guys. Okay, that works out better. So those are in these two drawers. We still have a bottom drawer down here. And now we have these that are going to be a little bit deeper, bigger, makes so much more sense. So that means this whole section here will kind of be for at home, loungewear, all that kind of stuff. Hold these a little. So this is pajama sets. We'll put pajama bottoms, like loungewear bottoms in here. And all of these patik you guys asked about. I think those go on. And then there's some more tops. I, I know that's so messy, but that is the best we can do today. Okay, we're out of space for all of her loungewear, but I have some really good bins in mind um, from the dollar store. They're clear bins, so I think I will just get those for her because they could sit really nicely um, right here. For the time being, I think I'll put like sports bras since those tend to be less bulky or sports tops like shirts. I'll put in this bottom drawer. The tops, that is a top. Okay, these are like long sleeve tops. Not... All right, messy, but we have all of the tops here. And then we just have a pile of pants. We have a few different sets of pants, like tights and loose fitting pants and shorts. So I think if there's a way to get three organizers or even just a big organizer, that would really help. You could put them here. And I have for winters, just as I was feeling good about stuff, I remembered perhaps, luckily most of them are beanies, but that means we still have to 
fit them all here. So I'm just gonna toss out all the ones that are like summer. We can go ahead and put all of the other hats in here that were for um, the warmer season. Last up is this. So I think I'm gonna put her belts in here, maybe, I don't know. We'll explore it, it looks, seems kind of fun. I've always wanted to do that. I know there's like more belts around here too, but I can't figure out where they are. Okay, for now, I think these are like little robe ties. Here's a little scarf and then handkerchiefs. I'll put those. We have two of these. This should go to the other room. Some sunnies. I'm still struggling to figure out what to do with the hats, but I realize you can kind of push them to the side and bend them so that might work better and it would be awesome if we... I might need to get more of these I don't know if you can but oh my gosh we can finally get to the back of the closet it's at a good stopping place what I'm gonna do just so that she knows the system whenever she comes in I'm gonna make it easy on her and just add labels we're gonna do bright white labels so that she sees it it'll just be temporary until I can come back in and get everything fully organized. I'll say long tops, short tops. Dresses. I don't even think I'll take these off all the way. See how it bends in the middle and then a sticky part divides in half. I'm just going to put this, this top sticky part on here so it's easy to just peel them off. I don't want to ruin my nails or anything when I come back. And I'm just gonna make a big label on this side that says this side is all cold weather. Undergarments, more undergarments. Workout tops, PJ sets, lounge bottoms, and lounge tops. So I was just messing around with this and I realized this comes out. So this would be amazing if we had one extra drawer for this. Maybe we'll just, let me just take it out real quick. That kind of worked out well. Obviously we can fold them nicer later, but I was able to utilize this drawer so that we could get all of the workout pants in here which it's still a tight squeeze but maybe if we fold them a little differently and even hang some pants up here i think we can make that work so everything's tucked away which is amazing um this is not like the most beautiful here i'm still just kind of working on it and even maybe we'll just like put hats over here or something and quit like trying to make it work over here i'm not sure work in progress but guys it's so much better it's definitely better than what it was all right um i guess you guys want to see it and then uh, i will see you soon for another solo let's get really organized we're taking a break from decluttering because decluttering is not everything you gotta organize too let me show you what we did a lot of hard work. I have a sweaty body right now. First of all, let's just admire all the floor. We're not stepping over anything. Oh, it's so different. Okay, so these are my temporary labels. They're gonna be so easy to take off whenever we come back. So we've got everything right there, just easy to see. We're still working with that area. And then here is the golf section. We've got the skirt section, pants down here. Yeah, don't know about that. We have long tops and short tops, dresses, 
uh, winter coats, obviously. And then this is all of the stuff that I need to like fold and put away later. And then up here, I said this side is all cold weather jackets. What's cool is I did discover this door. This is where all of the pile of piles of stuff were. Then I realized this is an extra room. I think this is supposed to be the fire room um, in the event of a fire, but we might be able to put something in there. But it's so much better than what it was. I mean, whenever I started today, we couldn't even stand here because there was so much stuff. And now we can move back and forth. I think that was a successful day. The closet wears it out. I'm gonna go pop my back. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, and maybe we can even find a better solution for golf stuff or put some stuff here. Bye.